Yeah, let's continue to get you the route that doesn't seem to end in the state of Karnataka, especially over Savarkar versus Tipu Sultan. Now, in yet another escalation, the BJP workers, where the Bajrang Dal also get out of former Chief Minister Siddharamaya's convoy, the car, that happened at least three times during his visit to the Kodagu district. There are videos of the incident showing that protesters raising slogans against the senior Congress leader for celebrating Tipu Sultan. They can also be holding uh, Veer Savarkar's posters and waving black flags at the chief minister's convoy while the location and Mandikari with this convoy was even where people and protesters had thrown eggs at his car. I am a leader of the opposition. I am a shadow chief minister. You police, you don't know how to give the protection to the leader of the opposition. Thomas is working out now, Peter Gondo. Now, if you are a party, police, we will not protect you. Well, that was an angry Siddharamaya there, where he is uh, venting out after he was heckled because the Congress, after the attack, has also expressed their anger over the incidents. In a statement that has been released by the youth wing of the party, they have claimed that such incidents are shameful and has claimed that the Youth Congress uh, follows the tenets of Gandhiji and that it is now our turn to turn towards the other cheek. Adding that the Karnataka Youth Congress has now decided to send all of the BJP M mantris eggs, claiming that they would follow the rule of Ahimsa. Let me go across to Deepak. Now, Deepak, good morning to you. We are looking back to back incidents being reported in Karnataka, but when it comes to attacking the former chief minister himself, a senior Congress party leader. Peaceful protests, yes, one, it is a right of the people there, but when it comes to such kind of attacks, have they gone too far? Well, uh, probably, and especially, you know, a lot of questions being raised about how the police have dealt with the situation. Now, we should understand that, you know, this started yesterday while the former chief minister, the you know, the leader of the opposition makes his way to Kodugu. He's, his plan was to visit uh, flood-affected uh, or rather rain-affected areas in the region. And, you know, while he entered Kodugu, there was an instance that took place where people were holding Savarkar uh, photos. They were, uh, you know, holding black flag. And they were allowed to come so close to the convoy that a person actually slips in, uh, you know, a, a picture of uh, Savarkar into his car. And, you know, the, that's probably uh, the security lapse that happened initially. And then in Madikeri, eggs being thrown are at his convoy, once again, black flags being waved. Now, that is where uh, Mr. Sidramaya was uh, quite furious and, you know, he expressed that while speaking to a gathering and he's now said he's going to return to Kodugu and he's going to have all the Congress workers join him and he's, he's uh, said that they're going to get out the SP's office because of, uh, you know, how uh, they failed to provide security to him. And what was shocking is that after this, he moves from Kodugu on his way uh, he, he was once again, you know, stopped by certain Bajrangdal workers. His convoy, in fact, was stopped, and this was at Hassan. So this was the third time in, you know, within 24 hours that this happens. And one must definitely question about, uh, you know, how uh, the police were dealing with uh, this entire situation. In fact, uh, late in the night, the chief minister himself was, you know, forced to react. Uh, with him going on to say that, you know, anyone who can have... Who I have think we're just going to play opinion. that out. Deepak, just stay on with us. You're talking about the Chief Minister of Karnataka. Basavaraj Burmai has reacted to 
Siddaramaiah being uh, misbehaved by the Bajrang Dal and the BJP workers and taking to Twitter, the Chief Minister has said that Siddaramaiah is the leader of the opposition and his post must be respected. There are differences in opinion, but that should be expressed by arguments and not by violence. Deepak, the stand that has now been taken by the Karnataka government there, of course, he is in a way condemning the attack, but in a way, what action would be taken? He has not given any detail on that. Yes, quite interesting. Like, like I said, the chief minister himself, have, uh, you know, uh, reacting late in the night, uh, probably understanding, you know, uh, it, it was not all, uh, you know, rosy days, uh, you know, and especially with uh, uh, Mr. Sidramaya having to face a situation like this for the third time, uh, where, you know, his convoy uh, being get out, uh, you know, ample police not being present, uh, definitely uh, is a red flag. And, you know, him going on to express that to his, uh, you know, karyakartas uh, and also to any uh, people who uh, were protesting, going on to say that staging peaceful dem demonstration and showing objections to whatever Mr. Sidramaya has said or expressing their opinions is different from actually the physical behavior that we've seen, uh, which have uh, been a cause of concern. So uh, we'll really have to see how the Congress party, uh, you know, really takes this up, how Mr. Sidrama himself takes this up at this point in time. And like uh, you were mentioning earlier, the uh, Youth Congress now plans to stage a demonstration later in the evening in uh, Bengaluru. They also plan to send eggs to the ministers is the plan. So we'll have to see how, uh, you know, the Congress party ups the ante and how is the BJP going to reply to this. Right, but what happens to the protests there, Deepak? Because uh, multiple sort of incidents that had been been reported ever since Independence Day celebrations, whether it comes to Shivmoga in Chikmangluru and uh, Tumkuru, and also in Mangluru as well. So what happens uh, with those incidents taking place? Well, we are only seeing that on the rise. We've seen multiple posters come up, uh, and it's quite unfortunate as well, a few of them, where, uh, you know, go say for, for posters have come up in multiple places, and, uh, you know, uh, in certain places, the, the police had to be informed that it is there, and then for them to even look into the matter. And, uh, you know, the Savarkar uh, photographs, of course, which uh, have uh, created quite a stir in the last five to six days in Karnataka, uh, continue to uh, come up in various uh, parts of the state. We've seen in the coastal region around uh, Mangaluru, Udupi, it's happened. We've uh, seen Chikmagluru as well. Uh, we've seen it happen in uh, uh, Tumkur right. uh, and uh, Bengaluru as well. So uh, we'll really have to see how this controversy really dies down. All right. Deepak, we are getting all of those pictures that are coming in. And one aside, on the one side, Siddharamaya being attacked, his convoy that was attacked, heckled, and thereafter even posters of Savarkar that were thrown in, black flags that were shown, and even eggs uh, that were thrown at the car. Siddharamaya has expressed uh, his disappointment and has uh, condemned the incident. However, goes on to say that we are followers of Gandhi and we will not indulge in violence. However, in a way, to mark their protest, the Congress workers in... Uh, return will be sending eggs to the BJP mantris. Deepak, thank you very much for joining in. We head into a short break. You're watching The Morning News app.